When I started this save, I didn't I didn't really think that it would end up being just as weird as it has been. I mean, you think, you know, just sign British and Irish players, that's, that's you know, it's going to be pretty straightforward, really, isn't it? I mean, we are potentially going to have our lowest points total and lowest league finish in the entire save. And yet, at the same time, we could actually end up winning a treble. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Norwich City Bouncing Back and it's just the weirdest season ever and this is probably one of the weirdest saves I've ever done on any FM ever. We are we're just not going to do well in the league because, not I mean partly ourselves, it's mostly ourselves but also just everyone else is so good, but the Cups, the Cups are where it's at. So obviously last time we won the League Cup which was just great, brilliant, we also made it through in the FA Cup 5th round and since then we are undefeated and broadly speaking... It's been really good with one massive exception that we'll talk about in a second. But I said we were going to be back for the second leg of the second knockout round of the Euro Cup 2. Um, basically, the first leg result was so comprehensive, didn't see much point in doing it. And, uh, well, we've just gone straight through to the next round. Really, we will be doing, therefore, the quarterfinal of Euro Cup 2 and also the semi-final of the FA Cup, because we've made it there as well. Let's just see how it happened. So after we beat Spurs in the FA Cup, dramatically late on, Dominic Solanke scored again in the game against Brighton. We recovered to get a point. I mean, it was a bit of a sort of even game. Disappointing, but at least we didn't lose. Keep some sort of momentum going. We then crushed uh, FCSB, which I found out is of the sort of Phoenix team for Stour Bucharest, I think. Beat them 5-0 in the first leg. Slanky got a brace. Reese Nelson got a hat-trick. It was pretty comprehensive. Then the only really bad thing from last time, probably one of the worst things all season, we we drew 1-1 with Brentford. You can see the times of the goals there. We completely dominated the game. We should have had it wrapped up. They had a man sent off in the 83rd minute. We finally managed to get the breakthrough. Murray McCunney scored in the 90th minute. I was celebrating. I thought, you know what? Not going to switch to the defensive tactic straight away. We'll give it a couple of seconds. That was that was clearly stupid because literally from kickoff, they just went, having done nothing all game, just went and scored an equaliser. So that was that was fun. I don't actually want to look how many points we've dropped from winning positions later on this season. I think it's probably about 10, which that's cost us Europa League football if we look at the table in a minute. Um, the second leg was a pretty much a formality. Adam scored a rare goal. He seems to have given up on that one. And then I was going to bring you that game, but just kind of a bit uh, immaterial, really, along with the FA Cup quarterfinal. Wish I had brought you it in some ways, because it was an absolute epic. For once, the late drama goes our way. A 3-2 comeback win against Manchester City. We, we've got a very good record against Pep. Uh, he's still in charge. We've got a very good record against him. And this was another fantastic win performance we went behind early on Rayan Cherky and I thought you know what this this is it, this is it really it's going to be one of those days but no battle back Marcus Edwards before half time with an equaliser Chris Meppham um, has been deadly from set pieces we we switched the uh, the corner tactic up a little bit in terms of what we do he's been the main beneficiary of that and, and so we were looking good 85th minute equaliser though from Phil Foden a little bit of misfortune about it but we went we kept going for it and uh, Marcus Edwards again scored to give us a dramatic win in injury time it was a brilliant performance we've made it through and our reward for that inevitably is liverpool again in the fa cup semi-final fantastic stuff uh, since then though two wins i'm shocked two wins in a row in the premier league absolutely essential wins um, but a 2-0 win against west ham nelson and mepham and then a 2-1 win against Wolves, Madison and Solanke. Really good performances. We are in a good run of form, which hopefully can continue today and into the rest of the season. We have got, as our quarter-final opponents in Euro Cup 2, Getafe. We'll look at the draw. We, we've got the kinder half. Getafe, and then if we beat them, which is a, it's a big if, knowing us, Lokomotiv Moscow or FC Utrecht will be the semi-final. The on-paper most difficult sides, PSV Schalke, Salzburg and Frankfurt, all in the other half of the draw. So if things go our way, if things go to sort of form and expectation, then you know that we won't be able to face any of them until the final, but it will be potentially quite a tricky final. But we mustn't count our chickens at all, uh, because, you know, when, whenever we do that, 
things go wrong. We will also be playing as a triple game special. We'll play the Liverpool semi-final as well. Um, could have had Newcastle or Aston Villa, but obviously, obviously, we get drawn against Liverpool because that's just how it works. So it's cup focus again because the cups are just where it's at, really. We're not going to qualify for the Europa League through the league. That's just probably not going to happen unless we unless we have an absolutely miraculous run of form between now and the end of the season and also other sides don't play well either but if we can do well in the cups we should be okay because well the, the prize for winning both euro cup 2 and the fa cup is a spot in the europa league so either both we should we should make it i think one of them is more likely than the other um the reason why we're not going to do uh, qualify through the league obviously because of our dodgy performances preceding this but we've now after the liverpool game we've got to play arsenal man city and liverpool in a row relatively kind closing month i say relatively because aston villa and sheffield united are both above us in the table so they're not exactly pushovers but yeah it's not going to be straightforward here is the league table we've put off showing it for a while uh, we are in ninth which is sort of okay i guess sort of stable well we're quite a long way above spurs now i don't think they well they might catch us but that's probably not going to happen, hopefully. So we are in ninth. That's looking like um, the lowest we're going to finish. Sheffield United, Aston Villa, of course, ahead of us. If we beat them in their games, Arsenal as well. It's not impossible. We've got a chance. 53 points. Arsenal are on 59. So we are only six points behind. It is possible, but I just think it's probably not very likely. So Getafe at home, first of all. If we can get a good result here, then we can sort of rest a bit in the second leg. Fair few injuries at a crucial time. Calvin Phillips is going to be out for a couple of weeks, going to be missing today. So is Marcus Edwards. He's shooting. He might be back for the Liverpool game, actually, Marcus Edwards. Hamza Chowdhury is going to be missing the first leg as well, which is irritating. But we will have to make do with it. The team, therefore, is going to be Dean Henderson in goal. Lewis, Ampadu, Mepham, and Aarons is the defence. Cook, Winks, Madison is the midfield. Reese Nelson on the left-hand side. Buendia has to come on in the right-hand side. And Dominic Solanke is going to be starting up front. You can see from some of the average ratings, the main areas I want to be improving in the summer, assuming I'm still in charge, box-to-box uh, -box midfield, but principally right wing and uh, centre-back. We need a better centre-back partner for Chris Mepham. And I think, I don't know, Buendia, I'm not sure he's really the right option for the, for the team going forwards. I don't know. He's 29. It's kind of now or never if we're going to sell him, but no one bidded for him the last two years, so we might have to offer him out, but that might be quite unpopular but we will see what happens. Let's get this one done. Big score today, please, at home. And then we can uh, sort of rest a little bit in the second leg before the FA Cup semi-final. I mean, that's what I asked for. That's what I wanted. Not happening. Nil-nil so far. Not a single highlight. We've been going positive quite a lot recently, and that seems to have helped. So I think, you know what, we'll go positive right here, right now. We don't want to sleepwalk into an exit in this competition. This is our best, most viable chance of reaching the Europa League. We've got to try and win it. Still nothing. Harry Winks is very tired because some idiot played him in the under-23s last night, even though he was in the match day squad and we needed him for this one. So I'm really, really unhappy about that one. But he's going to stay out there for the time being. Not impressed with that first half performance. We've had seven shots on target. We have seen none of them. So I can only imagine how pathetic they were. Still nothing. I mean, XG-wise, we should be fine. Max Ahrens has got an injury which is not what we need. We'll bring on Hickey. Winks is rapidly becoming more tired. Deli Alley can actually play in that role quite well. I mean, right, we've got a corner. James Madison, we've been pretty good from corners recently. He puts it in. It's bouncing around in the box. There's not much to show for it. And now that's apparently all that has happened. Buendia is on a 6.4. He's been booked. He is just the problem. I'm going to play, play Murray McCunny out there. He's not the best fit for it but it's going to have to do we're over a goal for xg and yet we've we've seen one corner that did that wasn't even a shot on target <sighs> right, we're gonna to have to just go for it we'll switch up the system moving uh moving madison further forwards and just try and get something why have we we've seen we've got eight eight shots on target we've seen nothing are they gonna score they've actually scored an away goal i mean what what is this We've been brilliant. We just beat Man City, beat Wolves, beat West Ham. We have dominated this game, and yet we've seen nothing. And they've just gone and scored from a corner. Three guys on the line. Just sort of look. Who who is this? Ampadu. I'm shocked. Really shocked. Lewis Henderson. You might as well have a barrel in the goal because he's so useless. Um, I'll be honest. Not what I was expecting. We have completely dominated. I mean, we've been FM'd in the truest sense here. They've done nothing, they've scored a corner, and we are 
we've conceded an away goal. We've had 10 shots on target. We haven't seen any of them. We'll go very attacking for the final few minutes. We've got a free kick. Madison, this needs to go in in some way. Whips it in. Solanke has missed. I mean, just brilliant stuff. 11 shots on target. We've not seen any of them. Awful performance. Horrendously unlucky, I guess, but also awful. Um, I didn't expect this to be the start of the episode, to be honest with you. Losing 1-0 at home to Getafe. Um, I can't even make them come into training because they're all so tired. Um, but I'm absolutely furious. That was absolutely appalling. Some truly, true. no one's even played badly, really, apart from Wendia. He was abysmal. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I mean, what are you supposed to say about that? I mean, Dean Henderson's had an absolute shocker again. He has been a complete liability. But it's an awful result, but it's not even... We didn't even play badly, it's just we've been completely... We have... But yeah, we've been robbed. I mean, that's the shot map there. That's the shot map, so great. What did, Actually, what did their goalkeeper get? Was he... Did he have the best game of his entire career? Magically. It feels like he probably did. Um, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's Zidane. Zidane's son. He got an 8.2. An 8.2. He has clept, kept three clean sheets... All season, three clean sheets all season, and he rocks up with an 8.2 against us. It's just so believable and realistic. Right, let's try again after that complete display of nonsense we've just witnessed from the match engine there. I'm not I'm not happy about that at all. Hamza Chowdhury is at least back, which is good. He comes in, otherwise no other changes. I'm going to change Wendia to a winger just because he's more sort of used to that, I guess. It's big. I, wait, in fact, we're going to... We're going to put him on support. We're going to put Nelson on attack instead. Buendia, I think, I think that might be his final game. So that, that might be the game that sort of bring, means this is his final season. Unless he really impresses today and between now and the end of the year, I think he's just going to have to go because he lets us down too often. Right, we, we need revenge. We have to win this game now because of what happened in the previous leg. It's... A draw is not enough. Um, we have to win this game. It's as simple as that. Madison, free kick early on. He never gets them. That's only the third free kick we've ever had. He scored the first. He hit the crossbar with the second. He bangs that one in. He has had his best season in a Norwich shirt since his breakout year. That was a... What a start. We needed that. Bangs that one in. Away goal cancelled out instantly. Right now, we just need to make sure we win the game. Any more goals for us, and then that well, it rules out extra time as a possibility, which is good for the fitness. Beautiful ball forwards from Cook. Nelson skipping through the defence. He goes out wide. He's been, well, just then just giving the ball away. That was less good. Ampadu with a clearing header. Lewis knocks it on. Solanke down to Chowdhury. Buendia inside. It's bounced kindly for Solanke, and it's one of the worst finishes I've ever seen. Well, they've got a corner. I mean, are we going to regret Solanke's missed chance? That goes over. We, we've done well to start this game, but we mustn't be... I mean, there's no point being complacent. This, as it stands, is extra time. I don't want extra time. We need to go out and score a few more. Kind of loathe to go positive, really, because, well, we, we tried that, and they ended up scoring, but we might well need to in the second half. They're coming forwards. Amath racing through. No one really challenging him. Um, it's Anteveros, who's probably their best player on the left-hand side. Kintia, who I believe is the same Kintia who we had right at the start of the save. First season on loan, never used. Ampadu with the header. Can we now break? Reese Nelson has looked lively today to Chowdhury. We, we missed him in the first leg, that is for sure. Pressing on, beats one player, gets lucky with the challenge. Point Dia on the right-hand side. Can he find a cross in? He can. It's Madison. It's not far away need to be putting some of these chances in though lewis actually finds a teammate james madison racing forwards again is he going to take a shot on he is it's not his best effort we're dominating proceedings again at least this time we've we've got the lead keep going and the result will come um we need we only need another goal as long as we don't concede we only need another goal but we've got to actually get it aaron's has given the ball away recently given an england call up has max aaron's reese nelson's still going he'd love an england call up Goes for the shot. What a goal. Reese Nelson. I mean, I thought that was that had going wide written all over it. The amount of times one of our players have done that this season, it's gone wide. Not on that occasion. Reese Nelson picks the ball up just inside our half. 
goes for a run. But you see this highlight so often and it just blazes wide. But not this time. What a hit from Reese Nelson. 2-0. Right, good. 2-0. Two, two away goals. That should be it. Even if they get a goal back, we will go through on away goals. So just keep sensible. If we can grab a third, that would be ideal. But just keep, just, yeah, just make sure we end up winning this game and we will win the tie. Max Aaron's on the right. Ball across. Cleared. But only as far as Lewis Cook. If he's actually going to bother to get it, he does. Right, 73 minutes in. Is this going to be a late sting? Madison with the corner. Chris Mepham delivers again. We, we switched it up to put our best header attack in the near post. Chris Mepham's the best header. Since we've done it, he's got eight goals this season. and They've been very crucial. Finally actually making use of James Madison's supreme set-piece ability. It's 3-0. I think it might be all right. Although here's a kickoff highlight, so you never know. You, you do never know. If we can break, that would be good. But yep, Cook wins the ball back. Is this therefore going to be an attack for us? Let's hope so. Chowdhury racing through. I mean, why couldn't we have just done this in the first leg? Then we could have rested everybody. We, we don't need them all to play an extra game. Jamal Lewis, cross in. Solanke, bang. 4-0, job done. We've, we've rescued ourselves after what happened at Carrow Road. I mean, if we did go out here, I would be, oh, yeah. To be honest, I'd probably just resign. Resign on the spot. Solanke, right place at the right time. He's not done that enough this season. It's his 14th. But I was expecting a bit more from him. And there we go. Pretty much the same number of shots on target as the first leg. Except this time they actually went in. 4-0. We win 4-1 on aggregate. Thank God for that. Some beautiful goals as well. The, the recent Nelson goal was fantastic. The Madison free kick was sensational too. That's, that's more like it. That's what we needed to do. Okay, so it's going to be FC Utrecht in the semi-final. That will be coming up next time as well as the Fulham game in between. Forgot to mention we had Regen Day as well, mainly because we didn't really have anyone very good. Jordan De Silva, apparently the best. Best of the bunch. 19 determination isn't bad, but no one really to write home about like last year. Right then, Liverpool. The only team left in the Premier League that we've never managed to beat on any occasion. We've We've gotten over our Wolves curse. We've beaten Chelsea a few times. We've even managed to beat Man United on occasion. But never have we defeated Liverpool. We got so, so close last year. We took them to penalties and then we didn't manage to make it through. But we will see what we do today. Lewis Cook is suspended. Harry Winks, therefore, is a straight switch for him. And then Marcus Edwards is back and he is fit and we might start him. It is tempting to do that, but I think I think we're going to stick with a team that just won 4-0, including Buendia on the right-hand side. Edwards can come off the bench if needs be. He's so effective at doing that, and uh, no doubt he will make an appearance, but let's see what we can do. I'm not expecting to win this, to be honest, because they have lots and lots of really good players, but you know what? We will we'll see what we can do. We, we are in some good form. Apart from that defeat to Getafe, we did recover though very strongly in the uh, in the second leg, and uh, I want to see what we can do here at Wembley. Second appearance at Wembley of the season. Can we make it three? Already more action than this time last year. That was 120 minutes of nothing. Here are Liverpool coming forward. Joe Gomez to Manuel Locatelli. We managed to clear it away though. Here is Buendia. We've given him the nod rather than Edwards. Can he prove us right? He's running. He's still going. Can he find a cross for a potential early lead? He's just been just been tackled by Locatelli, so so no. We've re-intercepted though. Good work from Ampadu, actually defensively good work. Locatelli's missed the tackle on Chowdhury. Solanke, not his best effort. That was an opportunity. Poor, poor ball from Dominic Solanke. And if they score from this, then well, he's not impressed against one of his former clubs. It's not the best effort from Amrani though. Not much else has happened in the first half, but we're probably going to concede just before the break. No, Dean Henderson, did you see that? He actually caught the ball. He made a save. I'm kind of shocked by that, to be honest. His distribution wasn't amazing there, but we've got away with it. Aaron's intercepts. Buendia, though, it was a poor pass to him. Two really bad passes. We've been defensively quite good so far, but just some dodgy passes in the final third. We've got it again, though, although Nelson is stopped. He's He's been taken out there by Milinkovic Savic. Apparently, it was a good challenge. He's still down. I wouldn't describe that as a good challenge. Um, and Aaron's is now me me messed up defensively. And Amrani scored. So that was fair, wasn't it? I mean, we're not going to see the challenge, which looked really bad in my opinion. 
and then Aaron's completely misses the ball and they've scored a very undeserved goal. So really appreciate that one. So there we go. Uh, undeservedly 1-0 down. Nelson has, yeah, he's got a gash lower leg. He's been taken out. Not even a booking for that one. Apparently that was a fair challenge. Um, I would say we've been very unlucky so far. Keep it up. That was, uh, yeah, unfortunate. I'm going to have to take Nelson off. Todd Cantwell comes on because I, I miss misclicked. Actually, no, it's because I wanted to bring Ali on to, for Chowdhury, who's not having a particularly good game, and he's on a yellow card as well. Um, we're going to go positive for this. For the, we might as well go for it a little bit for the for the rest of the second half. I think conf we were quite good in the first half there. Just a few dodgy passes let us down, and then, frankly, what should have been a red card challenge ends up with them scoring a goal. Clearly, they've bribed the referee. Um, again, a dodgy pass there's let us down. They're in again. Fabio Silva is just wide. I'm not bringing Edwards on. I brought McCunny on, so Marcus is not going to have his uh, potential match-winning impact. That's that's on me, but other players are not playing well or are injured. They're in again. Fabio Silva is another good save from Dean Henderson, who's actually done well today. Ali with a very bad ball again. Once again, this is what we're doing. We're just not doing the good passes today, but then maybe so are they. Giving away. Murray McCunny's in. He's not the quickest. Can he get the shot away? He can. He's so close. That was the chance. That was the chance. All right, we switched the system. We're going to go through a bit more. I don't, I don't think it's going to be our day, to be honest. Very unlucky again. We had, you know, we've not created too much, but then it is Liverpool. They've just been, I don't know. I feel Milinkovic Savic should have been sent off for what he did. Um, but it's going to be a semi-final defeat. Not quite as colossal as last year's. But uh, yeah, I'm not too disheartened. That was, yeah, I, I was pleased with your performance out there. You did do quite well. Some sloppy final passes. Ampadu on a 6.4. He needs to be replaced in the summer. He really does. He's not good enough. Uh, Reese Nelson was unfortunate. He got he was on, on a good run and got harshly fouled, and it wasn't even a foul. So there we go. Disappointing, unfair. That's really the story of the season so far. And it could still have a happy ending, though. We're through to the Euro Cup 2 semi-final. That will be next time. FC Utrecht, if we can win that competition, we will qualify for the Europa League, and we will therefore be completely safe as far as the board are concerned. It's not out of question out of the question in the league actually. We are only seven points behind Arsenal and Brighton, but we we need to win all of our remaining games. We are playing Sheffield United, Aston Villa and Arsenal. Any defeats in those and it's completely out of the question. But stranger things have happened, but I will see you next time as we take a trip to Holland for the first leg of the Euro Cup 2 semi-final. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe as well and I will see you next time.